Hello and welcome to Weekend Investing Daily Bites. This is a episode one ninety six on sixteenth of March. Uh, we are heading into uh, the holy long weekend uh, after tomorrow, and tonight is the major news that everybody is waiting for from overseas, which is the FOMC meet, where it is expected that the U.S. Federal Reserve will start raising the interest rates by a quarter percent, and then it is expected that the next seven meetings till next year, February, will have quarter percent each. So, all in all, it is expected that is a, a sort of a regime change is happening from zero or low interest rates, to, and to control inflation, the Federal Reserve is having to increase rates. How this will impact the markets? Only time will tell. But the markets did shake off some of the excesses in the last few weeks, also on the back of the Ukraine-Russia war, and seems to be now discounting this uh, quarter percent move. Unless it is a surprise tonight, whether it's a half a percent or in case they don't cut, that will be a huge surprise. in case they don't hike that will be a huge surprise but cutting more aggressively will be a shock as well so we don't know really how tomorrow will pan out but let's see where we went today so unexpectedly uh, also this announcement uh, on the holy weekend we are opening up all our strategies that have been closed for new subscriptions so mi25 mi all cap MI ATH and MI ATH two will be open for new subscriptions. Uh, we are opening slots in each of these strategies. So from four p.m. tomorrow, seventeenth onwards, uh, the slots will be open. So in case you wish to subscribe to these, you are more than welcome. Uh, in terms of the sectors today, real estate really picked picked up nicely. Uh, up 3.6 percent. Metals were up 2.6 percent. Commodities, private banks, autos, uh, infra. A lot of sectors were flying today. There were hardly any reds in the market, and the Nifty itself closed nearly 2 percent higher. So the last one week has been quite a good week for the entire market, which has erased most of the losses of the entire month, and. it seems like we are on a new leg up unless a new spanner is thrown in by global queues as you can see all the indices whether it was small caps nearly 1% mid cap and small cap index up 1.5% cnx 500 cnx 200 all were up nearly 2% and nifty next 50 on the back of advancing uh, gains in adani stocks especially uh, was up 2.26% Uh, similar gains were seen in weekend investing small cases nnf 10 mith2 mi30 mi25 also between 1 and 1/2 to 2.5% type of gains and most of the strategies are now in the green for the past week and some for the past month as well uh the top gainers today were gujarat ambuja exports plus 12% jk paper has been flying plus 10% new india assurance on uh, on the uh, insurance side has has been up at plus 9% jk cement is up 8% shopper stop was up almost 8% and these stocks were a bit soft carborundum emphasis bharat rasayan tci express and kansai narulak so we want to showcase today how has been the sectoral rankings for the past month 3 months 6 months 9 months and 12 months so some of the sectors that we have considered are metals energy it public sector enterprise then also included commodities included gold included consumption stocks banking fmcg auto etc etc so what you can see very intuitively from this chart is that or this table if i may say is that metals have been pretty much in the green for 
throughout the year whether it was 12 month momentum ranking 9 months 6 months 3 months 1 months they have been in the top 3 4 5 rankings so has energy stock so have it stocks largely uh, and fmcg autos and financial service have been and even banks have been in the red for the last 12 months 9 months 6 months 3 months 1 month so this itself can give you fantastic insights into which sectors are performing and how they are changing from long term performance into short term uh, weakness for instance if we look at media media was in the top ranks 6 to 12 months ago but recently it has faltered real estate has also faltered in the last one month and three months but as today's movement suggests it may start picking up again uh, there are then there are others like uh, pharma which were deeply in the red in the 6 to 12 month period but now are improving and and have gone neutral so as to say uh, so many of these sectors will change over time but this is a good way and direct ranking is just based on the price uh the index moves over a period uh, the 12 month period so metals what is the position today versus 12 months ago uh were and and ranked according to all these uh, sectoral rankings and i think we missed miss sugar in this but sugar we have not taken in most of our studies uh so this currently uh, on a on a yearly basis metals energy and it are the top 3 ranks Uh, whether it you take it on a one month basis or a one year basis so this was a bit about how that sectors are trending a bit about where the nifty is right now so from 18600 odd uh, mid october where we peaked uh, we went down to 15600 odd uh, just a week back and we have had a very sharp bounce to 16975 and we are exactly at the 200 dma and tonight is the fomc meet also so it's a very crucial point i think either we go down from here back to 15600 or we'll go up very rapidly towards 18400 i think uh, these are just my guesses i'm speculating on this but uh, 200 dma is usually a a very good trend change point if it has to happen like this like for instance we came here very close to 200 dma and suddenly there was a move up and once we broke down here then it was a very sharp fall gone and retested and a sharp fall again and now we are retesting again so if this test fails we'll come back very sharply down but if this test pass then we'll probably go 17600 18400 18, also in its gp so very very important day and let's see how we close and we also have a long weekend coming so many uh, variables are club together uh, in the coming days another insight that i wanted to showcase was a lot of people are focusing on when they are selecting their stocks not particularly uh, momentum investors but investors in general is that you know something has dropped so many percent from the top so let's buy it i think that is a major disservice you will do to your portfolio if that is the only criteria you are using to buy stocks that you know so and so stock is down 30% so let me buy it so and so stock is down 50% so and so is to buy it if we see this list of uh, these are us stocks but nevertheless these there are some fantastic names uh, within this uh, list from charlie belio and you can see that Uh, even other uh, very popular names like baba or uh, tencent etc they have dramatically fallen and uh, even uh, you know uh, names like uh, the the ark etfs or or or, or alibaba or uh, peloton uh, or zoom zoom technologies all these names uh, some of them very good quality uh, names have fallen dramatically docu sign uh emaderna so you can see that you know percentage drop no drop need not be you know 
a good criteria because if there have been excesses in the past uh you don't want to measure your entry point based on those excesses you want to measure your entry point either based on in case you are a fundamental or growth value investor based on your own thesis or if the momentum has been recover has been uh, uh, sort of uh, uh coming back to the stock and that would determine how you would enter and not just the percentage drop from the top another insight on uh, us 10 year yield so this is a chart of the last uh, 35 years uh us yields have been falling 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 in this channel this is a 10 year bond us treasury 10 year bond and we are now again nearing the top end of this bond so with this seven hikes ahead of us uh likely that this may break through or you know it may not be allowed to break through uh, as soon as certain levels of interest rates will get crossed there will be a lot of pain in the market a lot of pain in the mortgage markets you know people have bought so much assets based on low interest rates and now when they will have to service those loans with higher interest rates there are likely to be you know casualties on that so i don't know if this band will get broken dramatically this time because if it does go to 4 5% over the next 2 3 4 years uh, that will be quite uh, quite a change in this 3 th- 4 decades of easy or easing money that has been coming through so that will be a really really very big change in the way things have been uh, uh, moving but my sense is that we will not go beyond these borders and we may drop back soon as soon as there are hints of uh, a new recession coming in so this is all i had for today uh, uh, let's uh, hope that we get a positive or at least no new surprises in the fomc meet and nifty is able to positively cross this 200 dma and we may go towards newer highs uh, soon this year so thank you so much for watching and uh, see you in another video bye